Hey everybody, welcome to Fanshawe College's virtual open house day four with the School of Business, IT and Office Administration. Today's session is for the supply chain and logistics programming at Fanshawe. And joining me, I have Angela Reed Rieger, who will be available after the presentation for a Q&A session. So we'll jump right into the uh, presentation. And then if you have questions, you can submit them into the question feature on the side of your browser there. So there's an opportunity to submit questions, um, post them as they come to you, and we'll address them at the end of the presentation. Hi, I'm Angela Reed Regier, Coordinator of Supply Chain Programs at Fanshawe College. Thank you for joining us for the virtual open house, and thank you for considering a career in supply chain. few instructions before we begin our session. Please be advised that your webcams and mics have been turned off for the session. Please use the questions feature to ask questions for our session moderators and we'll do the best to cover all questions. If you have questions about other topics, check out our other sessions or email us at myfuture@fanshawec.ca. Sit back and enjoy the session and learning about supply chain at Fanshawe College. At Fanshawe College, we have two supply chain programs. The first program is a two-year diploma in business supply chain and operations. There is a co-op option, so you do have the option of doing a program without co-op or a program with two co-op work semesters. To be eligible for this program, you need to have a high school diploma with credits at the college or university level. You need to have at least grade 12 college level English and grade 11 college level math. The second program we have here at Fanshawe College is a one year graduate certificate in supply chain management. This program includes a four month co-op term. To be eligible for this program, you need to have a college diploma or degree we will also consider applicants that have at least five years work experience in the supply chain field. A lot of people aren't aware of what a career in supply chain would entail. At Fanshawe College, we prepare you for careers such as being a buyer, a transportation coordinator, an inventory planner, a logistics coordinator, operations manager. Um, the, the career possibilities are endless. To prepare you for these careers, you will learn how to buy goods and services for your company. You'll learn how to transport goods and services to your company and to your customers. You'll learn about inventory and distribution management um, to distribute and inventory goods and services for your company. You'll also learn about operations management. Operations management is about designing processes to create your company's products and services. In the two-year business supply chain and operations diploma, there are four academic semesters. In each academic semester, you will take six courses. If you choose the co-op option, in level one, you have an additional course, and that's the co-op course, and it helps to prepare you for going out on a co-op work term. Please also be advised that level one courses are common across all business diplomas. So if you decide at the end of level one, you'd like to transfer into accounting or marketing or any other business diploma, you can easily do that. Please also be advised that you need a GPA of 2.0, which is a C or 60 average, and you need to pass all courses to progress to the next level without conditions, and you need the average of a 2.0 to graduate. You also need a GPA of 2.5, which is a C plus or 65, um, in level one and level two to be eligible to go out on your first co-op work semester. The one year graduate certificate in supply chain management has two academic semesters. In level one, you take six academic courses plus the co-op course and every student must take this co-op course. In level two, you take six academic courses. And then at the end of level two, if you choose, you can go out on a four month co-op work term. However, you can also choose to graduate at the end of level two without a co-op endorsement. Again, in this program, you need a GPA of 2.0 
and pass all courses to progress to the next level and you need a GPA of 2.0 to graduate. If you are going out on co-op, you need a GPA of 2.5 in level one and level two to be eligible to go out on a co-op. Students in our program that are out on co-op and graduates of our program have gotten wonderful jobs in the London area and throughout the province and throughout the world. As you can see on this slide, the companies that some of our recent graduates and co-op students are employed at, uh, companies such as 3M, General Dynamics, Emco, Scheffler, um, are providing wonderful co-op opportunities and career opportunities in uh, jobs such as being a buyer, a logistics coordinator, an inventory control coordinator, um, procurement analyst, lots of career opportunities and uh, it's a wonderful um, field to be in with lots of opportunities. Once you are finished your diploma in supply chain and operations, there are options for you to continue your education. You can continue your education at Fanshawe College. You could choose to do one of our graduate certificates. We have several graduate certificates, um, operations management, project management, international business and marketing management are some of the graduate certificates that complement a two-year diploma in supply chain. You may also choose to complete your degree here at Fanshawe College. The Diploma in Supply Chain will give you an advanced standing towards a four-year degree. It will count as one year of the four-year degree. You do need a B-plus average to be eligible to do the degree at Fanshawe College. You may also choose to complete your degree at another institution. Athabasca University and Oakland College are two of the institutions we have agreements with that students can attend those institutions and receive advanced standing for half of the degree based on their supply chain diploma. We do also have transfer agreements in place with other institutions. You'll see the um, internet address for some of these uh, agreements. Please uh, check that out to see more uh, transfer agreements we have in place with other colleges and universities. When you are a student at Fanshawe College in the supply chain programs, some of the things you can expect are approximately 14 to 21 hours of classes per week. Your classes are small and interactive. You will have approximately anywhere from 20 to 60 students in each of your classes. In addition to your classes, we expect you to be doing approximately 20 hours of work uh, a week. This includes homework, readings, projects, assignments, those sorts of things. Each of your classes could be anywhere from one to two hours to three hours uh, per week. When you're on campus, please be advised you will be given 10 minutes between classes to get to one, from one classroom to the next. Please be advised that your classes may be scheduled anywhere from eight in the morning till eight at night, Monday through Friday. This includes even if you are online, classes will be scheduled anywhere from eight in the morning till eight at night. You will be given a schedule. Unfortunately, you cannot choose it. When you're on campus, there are uh, residence opportunities, lockers, parking, and food on campus. Information about resources and costs regarding our program. In the two-year diploma, Canadian students pay approximately $2,300 per semester in tuition. International students pay approximately $8,800 per semester. Books are approximately $500 per semester. If you're online, as we are during COVID, you do need a computer with internet access, a webcam, and a microphone. If you're doing classes on campus, you can use the college computers. There are several labs throughout campus. Um, however, we do recommend that you have a laptop uh, to bring to classes. However, it is not mandatory. You should also budget an additional approximately $30 per semester for things like field trips and networking events. And also you need to have money for living expenses and school supplies. If you're in the one year graduate certificate, you need approximately $2,800 per semester for tuition if you're a Canadian student, $9,200 per semester for international students, $800 per semester for books. 
If you're online, again, you need internet access, a webcam and a microphone. If you're on campus, you do need a laptop to bring to class. The graduate certificate is a laptop program and laptops are mandatory to bring to each class. You should also budget an additional $30 per semester for field trips and networking events. And you'll also need money to cover your living expenses and school supplies. We have agreements in place with several professional organizations. On campus, we have an Apex Fanshawe College student chapter for which I'm the faculty advisor. Um, students participate in case competitions and put on networking events as part of this club. The London Apex chapter also has monthly events uh, such as dinner meetings, guest speakers plant tours for which they invite students. Supply Chain Canada has networking events they, they invite students to. Apex is part of the Association for Supply Chain Management. ASQ, the American Society for Quality, also puts events on once a month for which they invite students to. There are also designations provided by these professional organizations. Students who graduate from our program are eligible towards advanced standing to a Supply Chain Canada designation, which is the Supply Chain Management Professional designation. They are also well prepared to start studying and write the exams for the APICS designations. We have plenty of exciting extracurricular activities going on um, within this program. As I said, we have an APIX Fanshawe student chapter. So the first picture on the top left is our executive. The next two pictures on the top row are our ASCM case competition winning teams. They were the top eight teams across Canada and the northern United States and received an all expense paid trip to Chicago for the regional round. Uh, the next picture in the middle row is our Supply Chain Canada case competition teams. They were second and fourth in Canada against co other colleges and universities. In the middle, those are a picture of our uh, awards winners from our program. You'll see pictures from our panel event and speed networking event. And there are also pictures from uh, two plant tours uh, from Labatt's and Diamond Aircraft. We have very experienced and educated faculty. Our faculty have MBAs, Masters in Sciences, Engineering degrees, PhDs in Industrial Engineering, um, professional designations in supply chain, um, experience working at 3M, GM, General Dynamics, Kellogg's, Home Hardware, a variety of companies throughout the country and we also have faculty that have accounting degrees and law degrees and HR degrees and experiences in those fields to teach our other courses that support our supply chain functions. As far as evaluations and experiential learning we have the traditional evaluations quizzes and tests and assignments and exams. We also have live client projects where students are paired up with companies to analyze a problem and provide solutions. Case studies are the same thing where students are given a problem and are to analyze those situations and come up with recommendations. Simulations where students are given companies that are losing money and they have to make supply chain decisions to turn the companies around and moving material from one side of the world to the next where they have to make decisions and choose risk mitigation factors and different uh, situations occur. We have cross prog program projects such as our supply chain students negotiating with our marketing students, field trips uh, one per semester for each program. These assignments are individual and group. Please be advised we have frequent firm due dates and our semesters are short so these due dates do come quickly and you need to stay on top of things. There are many supports in place to help students. You can reach out to your professor, your program coordinator, which is me. There are academic advisors, peer tutors, learn, the Learning Center with many supports in place to help. There is counseling and accessibility services to help students that are experiencing distress or may need accommodations in their, in their classwork. Our program is offered on campus at the London campus. Both programs are. Our graduate certificate is offered fully online and you can take it part-time or full-time online. Thanks for listening. Please let me know if you have any questions.
Here is my email. Please email me if you have any questions regarding the supply chain programs. If you have other questions about Fanshawe, please email us at myfuture at fanshawec.ca or book an appointment with a recruiter. Thank you for listening and learning about our supply chain programs. Please stay tuned for the following live question and answer session. All right, thank you for putting that together for us, Angela. That was super helpful for me and I'm sure for our guests as well. There she is. Hi. So what we're gonna do, folks, is I did get a couple questions there, so those are great. We're gonna get to those in a minute. Um, we do have some prepared questions for the interview here that we'll do first, and then we'll move on to those. So Angela, what are the admission requirements for both programs? So the two-year diploma, you need a high school diploma, and your courses have to be at the, at least the college level, and you need uh, grade 11 college math and grade 12 college uh, English. And for the graduate certificate, you need a diploma or degree. Um, and if you do not have a diploma or a degree, you need at least five years worth experience in supply chain. Okay. And uh, when can you apply for the program and is there a deadline for applications? You can apply um, anytime, um, but to be guaranteed a spot for September, you need to apply by the end of January. Um, and you can keep applying until we're full. Okay, and for the program, whether students are in class or online, uh, what sort of computer do they require? So we recommend a computer, not a Chromebook or a tablet. Um, we do recommend a PC over a Mac. Um, a Mac will work, it's just some of the um, platforms we use, uh, we just have a little bit more challenges and you'd be required to boot camp your Mac. Um, and if you're online, uh, a webcam, and a microphone are necessary. And how does the co-op work for the program? So for the two-year diploma, generally you would do level one and then level two and go out on a four-month work uh, placement and then you do level three and level four and go out on your second placement. For the graduate certificates, you do both academic semesters and then you go out on a four-month work term if you choose to do so. All right. And what sort of computer training do students get? And uh, what sort of computer skills will they be expected to have for entering the program? So um, if you're entering the two-year diploma, we do expect you to be uh, comfortable and familiar working on a computer. We expect you to know Word, PowerPoint, um, be able to you know, use email, that sort of thing. In the diploma, you will be um, taking a course in Excel and you'll also be taking a course um, on SAP, which is an enterprise resource planning system. In the graduate certificate, we expect you to be familiar uh, and comfortable navigating around a computer and you should be able to use Word, PowerPoint, um, somewhat familiar with Excel. Um, and then again, you will also be taking a SAP course as well. Okay, and how successful are our graduates in finding employment? Um, generally, they're very successful. Um, it's hard to, the stats only rely on the graduates that do um, respond to the surveys. So our diploma, they're saying uh, about 80% find a job in the field uh, within six months. Um, the graduate certificate, they're saying about 50%, but a lot of our graduate certificates, students, graduates go on to further education. Um, a lot of our graduates that do co-op end up getting full-time jobs um, with their co-op employers. Yeah, I think across the board, co-ops generally do lead to better chances at employment because it's additional for your resume, your building industry, connections, all that good stuff. So we do have some questions from our audience here. Um, one of these is related to COVID and, and the pandemic ongoing. Um, will the whole winter semester be online and will the summer semester be online? The It has been decided for the winter semester, it will be completely online. Um, for the summer semester, no decisions have been made at this time. Yeah, and that's uh, that's college-wide, so you won't get any answers from any of your sessions about the summer semester and COVID yet. Um, we kind of already answered one of these questions, but do students usually get offered jobs after co-op? So, 
Yes, um, last fall at our graduation, every um, student there um, had done a co-op opportunity and had been hired full-time with their co-op employers. So uh, that was very promising. Yeah, that's awesome. Um, and with the connection to the Operations Management Graduate Certificate, um, when do students have to decide about taking that add-on? Um, and, and what is maybe if you could just expand on what that looks like? Okay, so if you decide uh, to start with the Graduate Certificate in Supply Chain, you do Level 1 of Supply Chain, Level 2 of Supply Chain, and then, you know, about halfway or through the second level of Supply Chain is when you do um, the paperwork to then be transfer into level two of operations management. So you can decide to do level one, level two of supply chain, then do a co-op and then do level two of operations management, or you can choose not to do a co-op. Um, but yes, you need to decide, um, you know, about halfway through level two if you're going to transfer um, and do the operations management as well. Okay. Um... If this you kind of already did answer this. What computer programs will we use for the SCM program? Is SAP one of them? Yes. So you do take in both the graduate certificate and diploma. You take a course in SAP, and uh, you work. You learn about um, working about five different modules in SAP. So it's a really good overview of SAP. Okay. I left one of your questions from the previous uh, ones that you submitted. Um, when can I start and when will I finish the program? So I guess more importantly, when can you start the program? Yes, so we, um, for the graduate certificates, we have intakes in January, May, and September. Um, and for the diploma, we have intakes in January, um, end of February, May, and September. So lots of times you can start and how long it is, it depends when you start and if you do a co-op. So for the graduate certificate, if you started in January, you do level one in January, level two starting in May, your co-op starting in September, and you'd be done um, at the end of December. But if you don't do a co-op, you'd be done a semester earlier. And again, same thing with um, the diploma. It depends um, generally, uh, if students start in September, they do level one in September, level two in January, a co-op or break in the summer, level one in September, or level three in September, level four in January, then if you're not doing a co-op, you'd graduate the end of April, or you would do a co-op and graduate the end of August. Okay, sort of related to that, is there a part-time delivery of either program? Um, so for our graduate certificate, it is offered um, full-time on campus, full-time online, or part-time online. Um, for our diploma, it's in normal times, it's only offered on campus, and as of right now, it's only offered online, um, but full-time on campus. Um, you can do it part-time. Um, however, we don't have a formal mechanism to handle that. If we're in the diploma, you'd, you'd basically apply full-time, and then we could drop you back to a part-time status. Can uh, part-time students take the co-op? Yes. You can take the co-op but you do have to complete so if you're doing the graduate certificate you do have to complete all courses before going out on co-op if you're the, doing the diploma again you'd have to gra uh, complete all level one and level two courses before doing your first co-op okay here's another co-op related question is it difficult to find those co-op opportunities uh, especially especially with uh covid going on right now um, you have to work hard to find a co-op placement. So a placement is not given to you. Um, we do have a co-op uh, office here that um, they have a job board with many co-op postings. And I tell students to apply to everyone. If you just apply to one, you're not gonna be very successful. So applying to every one of those jobs on the co-op board, as well as you're strongly encouraged to also search for uh, go to additional companies that don't have postings. So um you know you there will be job postings in the supply chain field and you can maybe approach those companies to see if they're willing to take co-op students so um, students from what i understand students who look for a co-op the placement rate is about 88 um, percent and uh, during covid students are still getting um co-op jobs um, i think this week i've had at least three different employers looking to hire uh, co-op students. So the jobs are there. 
um, you know, maybe a little less than normal. However, supply chain is something that's uh, really going to help us recover from COVID and uh, ramping up our supply chains to get everything back on track. Um, so there are lots of opportunities out there if you look hard for them. Um, and I also strongly recommend that you participate in all our extracurricular events. So being part of our APIC student chapter, participating in our networking events, um, because that's where you're going to get the contacts um, that may lead to jobs. Yeah, um, I think you did kind of already cover this, but there's a question about it. What is the difference between the graduate certificate and the diploma? Okay, so the diploma is for students, high school graduate students. So if you don't have any post-secondary education, you should do the two-year diploma. If you already have a diploma or a degree, you should do the one-year graduate certificate. So it's only one year because uh, you already have a foundation for learning. So you'll have uh, critical thinking skills there, good communication skills. So then you can jump right into the supply chain education. Um, so that's why it's only um, a one-year graduate certificate. Um, so again, you need that diploma university degree or diploma to be eligible or at least five years work experience in the supply chain field. The outcomes are very similar. We're teaching you the same skills. The graduate certificate um, is a little higher as far as a little bit more management and leadership um, learning involved in that program. Okay, we don't have any more questions from the audience right this moment. Maybe we'll give them one more minute to submit questions. And in the meantime, do you have any closing thoughts about the programs or applications or anything like that before we sign out here? So it's, yeah, it's a wonderful program. Um, again, our graduates are being very successful in all of our events when we have networking events and invite industry professionals. They are so impressed with our students. Uh, many students walk away from those events with jobs. Um, so it is a great uh, field and lots of opportunities and companies are realizing how important it is uh, for their companies to be successful to hire people that are uh, trained and knowledgeable in the supply chain field. Absolutely, okay. We got one more question, but I think it's more of an advising question. So we'll leave that for the advising team. Um, and I guess we will sign off there. Um, oh, maybe one more. How do you invite to the event? Sorry. Sorry, I'm just gonna answer some of these uh, in the chat. Quickly. Okay. And always, if you have additional questions about this program, feel free to email me. Um, again, my email is a underscore reid hyphen R-E-G-I-E-R at FanshawC.ca. And I will put that in the chat as well. Oh, you already did it. Okay. Yep, got it. Great. Okay, so we'll leave it there. Thank you very much for your time, Angela. That was super helpful. Oh, sorry, there's okay. a question about the networking event and how can you get an invite to that? So um, when you're a student here at Fanshawe College, um, in the programs, you'll receive emails and announcements about the events we are hosting. Um, if it's something you want to attend before you're a student, um, please send me an email and uh, the next event we have will certainly invite you. Um, and I can also let you know of, uh, you know, Apex London chapter events and that the uh, Supply Chain Canada events as well. Okay, and one uh, one more question popped up. So is a business degree background as valuable as an engineering degree for supply chain? Both are great uh, um, degrees to have. Um, I have an engineering degree and I ended up in supply chain because companies like um, my technical background that I can liaise is on well with the suppliers and have that technical understanding but uh, business degrees are also really well as well because you have those analytical skills those communication skills those relationship skills that you earn in a business degree so both are, are really good in the supply chain field do you get applicants from the social sciences as well um not a lot um 
but uh, you know, I've had students in the grad certs from like music degrees. Um, so there are a few, but a lot of them do have business degrees or engineering degrees, but that does not mean you have to have a business degree or engineering degree to uh, be in our program. It's just, I think that's where their careers have led them. All right, so we'll leave it there at seven o'clock. Again, thank you for your time, Angela, and thank you to our guests for attending and, and providing all those great questions. And uh, you have the contact information for Angela in the chat, so I'll give you another second to grab that. And again, if you want an appointment with the recruitment team for all of the other questions that you have about Fanshawe, you can email us at myfutureatfanshawec.ca or connect with us at fanshawec.ca slash connect. Okay. Have a good night. Thank you so much. And I hope to see everybody at Fanshawe College in the future. Bye.